Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to find about complementary solutions. So I will put YC. That is about e to the power of lambda s. So, if we do first the derivative of this one, we have lambda e to the power of lambda s. Because if we do first the derivative of e to the power of lambda s, we keep the same e to the power of lambda s. Later that, we need to do first the derivative of lambda s so you got lambda now we go to second the derivative of yc and we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s so i uh, will put this one equals to number zero So, the next one, I will put this one go in here, and this one go in here. Next, e to the power of lambda s, we can do about factorization. So, I will put this one equals to number 0, so we can find the solutions of lambda. So, lambda equals to number 2, and lambda equals to number 3. So, we have yc. That is about c number 1. We have the constant number 1, e to the power of lambda s. So the uh, number 2 will change for lambda, similar for C number 2. And we got like this. Now, we go to particular solutions. We can see that we have e to the power of 2s. This one, we have e to the power of 2s. So I will put yb, that is about a plus bs e to the power of 2s, because we repeat again in this one, that's why we need to increase about one unit, so that is about s. Next, we need to do first the derivative of yb, so we have like this. That is about the product rule of the derivative. So we can simplify this one. That is about the constant. So you got number zero. This one we have number one. So we have b. This one we have two e to the power of two s. And now. We have number 2 multiplied by this one. So, we have e to the power of 2s. e to the power of 2s. We can do about factorization. And we have like this. Now, we go to second derivative of yb. So we apply the same.
So this one that is about the constant. So you got number zero. This one we have number one. So we have two p. This one we have number two e to the power of two s. So number two multiply by this one, and we have like this. So we can do about factorization by e to the power of 2s. And we have like this. Next, we go back in here. So I will put this one go in here. And this one go in here. And this one, that is this one. And now we can simplify in terms of S. So we have 4P plus 4A. And we have minus 5b minus 10a plus 6a about s. So we have 4b minus num negative number 5 with 2b. We have negative number 10b and 6b. And now we can simplify. So 4b minus 5b, we have negative b. 6 with 4, we have number 10 minus number 10, we have number 0, 4a. So 6b minus 10b, we have negative 4b so we have number one in here that means negative b equals to number one because we don't have s so for b minus uh this one you got number zero in here so that means we don't have this one so b equals to negative number one so because we don't have a so we can put a equals to number zero in this situation so we go back in here so we put negative number one on here and now we have the final answer. Why C? That is this one. Why P? That is this one. This is the end. Thank you for watching.